So the first person that I want to introduce is Dasha Kelly Hamilton. She is a writer and a performance artist and is currently the Wisconsin Poet Laureate. Um, uh, previous to that was the Milwaukee Poet Laureate. Uh, she appropriately refers to herself as a creative change agent. And if you've ever met or are familiar with her work, you would agree with that 100%. I just attended a workshop she did two weeks ago and simply amazing. Um, she founded the nonprofit Still Waters Collective in Milwaukee, uh, which brings uh, interactive experiences to classrooms and offers a lot of uh, predominantly youth focused programs in the Milwaukee area. Uh, this is not bad considering that uh, her uh, nonprofit began uh, as an open mic with four poets sitting around a coffee table about 15 years ago. So she started out with just a little seed and it just took off. Um, her latest project is something called Alignment. It's a statewide initiative that uses poetry to hold community conversations around incarceration and reentry into the community. So how it works is Wisconsin residents are invited to download writing prompts and then upload poems based on you know, the prompt or prompts. Um, so it's something the writing community calls a poetry exchange. So as the project moves forward, selected poems will be compiled and published, and I'm going to send a link to that stuff in the chat. So at this point, I'm now going to mute me. I'm going to turn it over to Dasha. Hello, good evening, good people, and congratulations. And I'm glad, oh, yes. And I'm excited that all of us can be here, albeit virtually, we are still gathered together. And I want to start off with a piece that's definitely is going to lead into what the opportunity is before all of us. It's called Creatives. The fathers have been wrong. Neither wits nor years have been wasted. Loosely spent, perhaps. Scattered and prayed over. Rejoice the harvest. Turns out the mothers were right about rainy days, though. About positioning uh, barrels. About uh, dreams plummeting and evaporating. Curse the drought. Never mind the second cousins, supervisors, in-laws, pew mates, classmates, the warm-hearted ex, unconvinced and unimpressed, ever concerned under the breath. Condescension is a learned language, ill-fitted for the expanse. Cherish the village. Gather the creatives. Muscles taut from bending humanity into open windows and carpet rides. Harness our wattage of will, carrying narratives from the perimeter into conversation centers. We vibrate with imagination, with abandon, reverence, and arduous hope. Honor our breath. And I want to congratulate initially the city for choosing to install a poet in among your ranks. When I have a chance to speak to my munchkins and some of my really, really grown uncles, explaining what my role is as a laureate is that I am the ambassador of poetry. And we get to design that experience based on how poetry found us and how we have found these words to impact our walk in the world. So for my tenure for the city and for the state is using poetry as a tool, uh, an, ep an epoxy, if you will, to bring us together around common and challenging conversations, but the point being bringing us together. And so for a city to acknowledge that a creative, someone who puts together poems, who paints murals, who understands that the timing it takes to, to score music is the same strategic wizardry that it can take to bring communities together to translate between de departments. It's inviting a whole nother community of residents, of resources, of resilience into important conversations. More than just bringing us around when it's time to make things pretty. So whenever there's a city that has acknowledged the role of words, of our griots, of our storytellers, of our poets, Nothing but great things can come from that. And Tom, I have to say the experience that I've had as a city laureate being invited to lend my words to broad conversations from early childhood to conversations around um, environment to things that would celebrate local heroes. They don't know that they need us until they need us, Tom. So having you in position to figure out how you can translate your walk 
I tell every class I've ever taught that there's always someone who needs to hear you say your words in front of others. Sometimes they just needed to see you. They needed to see someone like you. They needed to hear exactly what you had to say. And sometimes they just need to be reminded that there are so many ways that we are all out here being our best human selves. So that's what we're celebrating tonight.